I'm going to go through my workflow for posting to Instagram from, I'm going to go through the workflow from posting or from creating an image all the way to posting it. And I have a special process that I use. Uh, I don't just uh, create an image and throw it up on Instagram. Um, I have a go between, so I schedule it with Buffer. And then, you know, when Buffer alerts me, I have to post it. So rather than talk about it, um, so every week when I post a new blog post, I uh, create an image that goes with the blog post. You'll see right here, um, I create a Twitter size post for my blog, um, and that's a nice shareable image for Twitter and Facebook. Instagram has a different format that uh, I need to create specifically for Instagram, so as you know, a square. Um, if you just use Cam the free version of Canva, uh, that's where I create my images from. Uh, and if you use the free version, you can't magic resize to an Instagram format. So you would have to go up here, do more, and you'd have to create a, an Instagram post type right here. But I'm using the paid version of Canva, uh, which it's actually a really good deal for all the features that you get. Um, so I can use Magic Resize and just instantly resize this. I can do File Magic Resize, and I want to uncheck those. And then I can just select Instagram Post and Abracadabra Resize. Um, there I have a new version. Um, this version I don't really like um, because it's, you know, it kept every, all the elements the same size. Um, for Instagram, I want to make it a lot bigger, fill up, um, make it more readable on a small mobile screen. So that kind of text won't work. So this is what I came up with. Started with that. All I did was expand all the elements, increase the font size. And then I had an Instagram image. Uh, really didn't take long, especially with the magic resize. It makes it a lot easier. So then I just, I'm going to download that image in a ping format. Um, doesn't really matter what format it's in. Uh, Instagram's going to, you know, publish in their own format. So that works out good. So now that that's published, uh, I have the file available and I can head on over to my buffer account. And I'm in my Instagram account right here. Um, so then I can just click on sharing something new. Here's where the trick comes in to sharing on Instagram. Um, you don't just wanna share a picture uh, with you know a few words and one or two hashtags or even worse, zero hashtags. You're never gonna reach anybody. You're never gonna, uh, your picture is never gonna be searchable. People aren't gonna find it. They're not gonna see it. So you need to be using a minimum of 11 relevant hashtags. That means irrelevant for the product that's in the picture or your small business. Uh, it has to be a hashtag that some, uh, you know, your target audience might be using to find things similar to your product. That's the only way they're ever going to see your pictures uh, aside, outside of your subscribers. Uh, but you want to expand your online presence as far as you can. You want as many people to see that as possible. So you have to use at least 11 hashtags and Instagram will allow you to use up to 30. Don't go over 30 or else you'll get an error. Um, but 11 to 30 is a sweet spot for Instagram. So what I do, I keep a notepad saved, um, one pad with all the common hashtags that I like to use for my business that generally every picture is going to be relevant to. Uh, of course I have my own hashtag that I use, uh, but then I have a lot of other things like marketing is very relevant, small business owners, people like that, you know, um, small biz marketing. People might be searching that that are small business owners looking for cool stuff on small business. Uh, I don't know exactly how many specific people in my audience view it. Uh, you know, you're going to get a lot of people just liking stuff in that hashtag, all that, but you're more likely to reach your audience using these hashtags than you are just posting a picture with nothing. 
So what I do is I copy the, those hashtags over. I just copy them and then when I'm in buffer I create a new message and I put my image in there. So I choose the image to upload for Instagram and then I right click and I paste. So generally I'll type a few sentences of relevant uh, information on what this picture is relevant to. So it's from my most recent blog post. I'm trying to promote people going, you know, clicking on, you only get one link in Instagram, so you really have to make it count. And so I promote people, uh, you know, the information in it and ask them to click on the link in uh, Instagram, my one link. So you'll see, uh, these. Are, this is my Instagram feed and I have my one link here and you'll notice I have it to a specific page on my website. I don't want, I want to take advantage of um, those people coming to my website and not just drop them off on my home page with no relevant content for what they're looking at on my Instagram feed. So if they click the link they get relevant information. So it's pretty relevant they'll see um, you know welcome to Instagram and if they scroll down there's information from the online presence blog. Uh, they can see that right in the, on the page that they get dropped off on and see it's very relevant to what they see on my Instagram feed. It's almost a one-for-one -one match. Um, sometimes there's an occasional added picture in here like this marketing one that but that's still from this blog post. That, that's all relevant to my Instagram feed. They're looking at the pictures on Instagram, click on the link, and they see the exact same content. Um, that's exactly what I want them to see, and then they can go further. You know, Here, on my website, they can click on any of the articles and actually read them, so it brings them to relevant content almost immediately. There's very few clicks needed to get to relevant content. Uh, and then, of course, there's additional content on here, like, uh, you know, if you scroll down, there's things like the online presence report that people can get, all this great stuff right from this landing page. And it's a very focused landing page. There's no navigation, nothing. It's basically like a squeeze page, but it's not really to one certain page that it's sending them to. It's to relevant content on my website, helping people get to content they're interested in. That's the goal of it. So, you know, if they're looking at a post, you'll see I have all these hashtags down here. And, you know, I'll take my general hashtags right here, and then if it's relevant for a specific post, I'll add some additional hashtags to reach additional audience. This one didn't, surprisingly, didn't do so well. Sometimes the images do great, sometimes not. Uh, but you'll notice I also wrote quite a bit, and this is all searchable stuff for Instagram too. If you look at the Instagram feed for Instagram, like their actual account, you'll notice they write a lot in their descriptions. They describe, you know, they tell us the story of the image, and that's all searchable. Um, so back to Buffer, once you type all that in and add it to the queue, um, you know, then I have scheduled times. I'm not going to post that one because I already posted it. So I have scheduled times where I only do one a day, typically, maximum. That's all I post to Instagram. Uh, I'm not huge on Instagram. Don't want to spend that much time on it, but I still want to build my audience. So you'll notice I have one time, and on my mobile phone, at that time, every day I have a post in the queue, a Buffer will tell me, hey, it's time to share on Instagram. So I open it, uh, it opens to that uh, page on Buffer, and I can click open to Instagram, and it copies my description and all that over to uh, Instagram and, and lets me share right from there. So it's pretty pretty handy for sharing. And, um, you know, I, I can get analytics on it. I don't know how much actual analytics. Uh, it just tells me the likes. So I can see that from, um, I can see that from Instagram. So it doesn't really tell me a whole lot. But you see, I get some pretty good engagement with, I, I think I use 25 or so um, 
hashtags and generally get pretty good response and I've built my account up to, you know, I haven't been doing it really that long and I built my account up to 95 followers, not a huge number, but I really don't invest much time in Instagram. This takes me maybe a whole five minutes on top of my normal workflow. So for each blog post I post, it takes me about five minutes and I get at least some engagement in Instagram. It's really not a huge time investment, but it's awesome nonetheless. So let's take a look at the mobile phone part of it and see how that all works. So here I am in Buffer. Um, I don't have anything in my queue again, but uh, let me try to schedule something. So I'm just gonna schedule a picture of a cat in a box. <laughs> Classic. So I have my notes on here also. So I can copy all of my hashtags over, copy, and then I can paste them right in here. And it'll give me, um, Buffer even gives me hashtag recommendations, which is cool. So I can type in marketing and I can get all kinds of relevant hashtags right in there for posting. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I like that a lot. Um, so that's helpful when picking hashtags. Now it is kind of a pain to type a whole long sentence in here. So I'm just gonna type in some garbly gook. <laughs> so there's my picture in there and I can buffer it. So it's gonna upload the media to buffer servers. Okay, so there's my image. Uh, it's queued in there, so It'll come up with an alert on my phone when it's time to post. It's already past my posting time right now, so I'm gonna tap the little carrot up here and share this post now. So you'll see it has a open on Instagram feature. So once I'm logged into my the right Instagram account, um, I have a couple accounts in there, so you have to be sure you're in the right one. You just do open on Instagram. It'll tell you, you know, make sure you're in the right one. And it'll tell you who you're currently logged in as. So I'm good to go. And it's going to copy the caption and all that over to Instagram. I'm not gonna add any of this stuff. So I just hold that and paste. And see it copied everything over from, uh, from Buffer in there. So I just do okay. And then when I'm ready, I just hit share. And that's it. That's all I have to do. So I schedule it the day before and it's all in there for me. And so here's my account um, and you'll see if you click on here, there's a nice description in there and people won't even see all of that unless they actually tap on your image. And it's all below the fold anyway, the text and the hashtag. So it's really not that intrusive to people but it's helpful in ranking uh, your Instagram posts and in searches and being seen. And then again, um, I kind of point people to tapping the link in the description because that's really what you want them to do. Um, yeah, I want to follow the link. So that's what people will see when they tap the link. They'll see welcome Instagrammers and then boom. There's the content. They saw this image on Instagram and now they can actually read the article. They can tap right on that and there it is. They can actually read that content. It's so close to the flow of Instagram. And there they are, back in Instagram even. It really is the easiest way to go um, to get people to your Instagram feed. So that's an easy workflow for posting Instagram images on Instagram and scheduling them at the right time, the best time too. So I create the image and buffer uh, for my blog post. I magic resize that to an Instagram size and then I set it all up in buffer to post at a certain time and then the next day at that right time buffer alerts me to post it and I um, you know, I post it, I go through that process, and I'm done. It really only takes, that whole thing only takes me probably five to ten minutes extra 
in addition to my blog post and I have a nice image on Instagram. So, and, and it reaches, you know, it reaches a lot of people with all those hashtags. So it's actually a pretty good way to build an audience and, you know, increase your uh, small business online presence. So go out there. Um, if you don't have your Instagram account already, uh, make sure you click the link to, and that's going to be on the information icon right here to set up your Instagram po uh, profile. I actually wrote an article helping you do that. So make sure you do that. And of course, and also be sure to click the information link, the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen to view um, an infographic that will tell you the right things to post on each social media channel. So it tells you thing like things like on that Instagram account to do 11 hashtags uh, and make sure you know you have that all set up. So so thanks for watching um, and of course you'll see some information in a few seconds to subscribe to watch more and check out some of our other videos. All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Now that you've checked out an Expranse video to help you expand your small business online presence, be sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos as they come out. Or you can check out the ebook that will help you grow your email list without even having a website in case you don't have one. Or you could check out another video.